It's match time. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith with you as always to describe it. And we're looking forward to something special today. Eh? Well, I think so, Martin. I hope these two teams won't disappoint us. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Well, it looks like all hands to the defensive pump. At least they've got two forwards. Yes, and to put them in front. Well, they've bought themselves a bit of time. That's a brilliant challenge. And that will be a throw. Dieng. And shoots! Simon Cox. I don't think there's any doubt now that we're going to have a, a fight to the finish here. A really exciting end to the season. I think any neutral loves to see it. I mean, it's nerve shredding for the teams involved. I can't make a mistake at this stage because it... Well, it's called offside. The flag went up. Well, the opposition pushed up. They were defending the high line there, taking a chance. He's the one we're focusing on, I think with good reason. Well, he's loving this competition, really is scoring for fun so far. Just working away to try and find an opening. Put in from the wide area. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Khan. For White. Great interception. That's a wonderful tackle. Khan. For White. He's got some room out here in the wide position. And Cross that's fisted away by the keeper. And that's good support as they build this attack. Khan. Now the shot! And they scored! And the first goal will be such a boost to them. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Can really get at the opposition here. Shot up. Good block. The game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Khan. Graham. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. The shot's on. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Two substitutes coming on for his team.
Good place to win the ball here. Shreds it through. The shot's hit the boat, and it's a shot now. And that will be a goal kick. Really in the clear now. In on goal. And here's the shot. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable in their good value for this advantage at the moment. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Rhodes. Graham. Looking to win it back. It just doesn't happen overnight, this kind of pressing. And it's working well for them, showing how much they've put into their training sessions. Car. shot off now and that will peter out that attack it's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily spotted that well and intercepted mcdonald and there goes the whistle for half time and the score line is 2-0 i think that's a good performance isn't it alan from him in the first half that was a good first 45 minutes. Some of the runs he made were... And the referee has blown to signal the start of the second half. Rose. Khan. For White. And that's a turnover to the opposition. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. And there's the interception. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Clark. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Well, that would be a throw. Hopper. Shredding it through. Made away, well away from goal. Khan. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. Now, this is an interesting attack. And they get it away. Khan, Rose. This is when it's hard to be a confident player, when the team's not got good results, but you need some self-belief. Well, looking down at them, you can see the lack of confidence and uh, the man in possession, he's, he's got one option at best and it, it makes life really awkward for them got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now Rose they've got numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there Looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. If there's John Scott in the stadium, can you please make yourself known to the nearest... Well, he's won the ball well. Forward here. 
and shoots! Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. It's given away. Gets his cross in. Well, he used the inside of his head well, but not the outside, off target. Yeah, just slightly missed time, that one. Just a change now. He's bringing on a new player. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Doing well to keep the ball. Striding forward, purposefully. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. It's a very good interception. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. A little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Ten minutes left of regular time. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. Well, they're in a good position here. Well, it looked a chance. It's ended rather tamely as a goal kick. Well, they're singing the praises of the players that have put these supporters in such a good frame of mind with the time ticking away. Yeah, threads it through. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Now they can launch a counter-attack. Alex McDonald. Khan. Trying to manage the situation here by just keeping the ball and keeping the lead. The referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. No wonder these fans are upset. Their team can't get hold of the ball. No chance, no sign at the moment of trouble in the opposition's goal. Another shot, and they've scored. And the first goal will be such a boost to them. It's good.
Hello, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Alongside me, the familiar voice of Alan Smith. Yeah, it should be a cracker today. Really looking forward to it. Southend United and North. And it's Bolton Wanderers today versus Southend United. Let's have a look at the way Bolton Wanderers are going to play today with these players. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Let's have a look at how the opposing team will line up today. Well, it looks like all hands to the defensive pump. At least they've got two forwards. Yes, and uh, hopefully they will get some service, but uh, it is capable, this shape, of being pretty negative. Put the corner in the middle. Well, they've broken through here. Celebrations reflect that the supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. Bolton Wanderers with the lead. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Low. Murphy. Vela. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. It's a weak cross, really, not getting past the first defender. Well, there's no doubt the visiting team come here in a fretful state in the relegation zone, and they'll be wondering about the other results, which could go against them today. Yeah, and oh, this might be an opportunity to get level. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. Neatly intercepted. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. That's so straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Routine for the keeper. Vela, Amiobi, Murphy, Beavers. Well, coming here today, you sense that the home fans expect a victory because they've won the away game against this club they're facing today. It's never quite as simple as that, is it? Well, no, and uh, the losing side will have a point to prove because they really... An incisive pass. Attacking team not happy about that offside call, but we can see it again here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. Hopper. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Low. Amiobi. No great danger here, but they've got the ball. That's the most important thing. Now the cross has gone behind, it's a poor effort. Hopper, guiding the pass through, just to keep it to beat. Time to get the ball in. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition. Amiobi. Low. Vela. Donaldson. Made a quick interception. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. We've got two added minutes. Amiobi. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Whipped in from the wide area. Oh, it was a cross that he got in. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. 
Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, I thought he looked lively in that first half. Really sharp and obviously got the goal. Still great anticipation here as we get ready for the second half. Hopper, Cox. Challenges for the ball. And that's going to be a goal kick. Simon Cox. And he could get away here. Can he do it? Normally calm enough in these circumstances, but not at this big moment. Yeah, you would normally see him tucked that away, no problem. Murphy. Beavers. Vela, Donalds. Now this looks promising. Now the shot! Goalkeeper will be hoping that all this work today is as easy as this save. Cox. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. Vela. Trying to get the ball. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. Cleverly done. Needs to stay cool now. That was a puff out your cheeks moment and phew, got away with it. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. He's played really well, he's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well we've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now he made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception Donalds Amiobi just working away to try and find an opening bit of keep ball going on here Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Well, then it goes. There's still danger here after this half clearance. A well, space to get the cross in. Striding forward purposefully. Well, that certainly helps the goalkeeper and those in the middle to stop the cross like that. Thank you. Trying to get the ball. Probing the pass. Just to keep it to beat. He's in now, here's a chance, goalkeeper, it's 
elbow. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. What we have, we hold. That's going to be the message to the final whistle if they're successful, Alan. Well, I know in some parts of the world they call this tactic lock-up shop. We know it more as parking the bus, but it's the same end result. Just try and see this one out defensively. Incisive pass. Corner. Well, we're going to get substitutions from both camps now at the same time. Well, here comes the corner. Cleared away by the defender. The shot's on. That's a good block. And this could bring them level. But no, a really wasted opportunity. Oh, my word. So late in the match. And that might be that for this team. The noise levels have gone up even more, and the scenario remains the same. The one goal lead, and we're into the last 10 minutes. By the way, things are shaping up. It looks like the home team are going to see out this lead, but still a chance for things to change. Well, they're looking for yet another goal from the corner. Corner swung in. Shoots! Oh, well done, the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball. Read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Two minutes of added time. It's a corner now, and they're almost there. In goes the corner. This should wrap it up. Oh, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end, it didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. Final whistle has gone, and Bolton have won the game. Well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal, and the celebration...
Hi there again. Once more, it's Martin Tyler and Alan Smith with you for this game, which uh, well, we came to the ground, the weather looked OK, but we've been hit by snow flurries, and it's actually snowing as kickoff approaches. Yeah, it seems to be getting a bit heavier. As if it starts covering up the lines and snow gathers on the ball, that's when the ref's got a decision to make. The league table not making happy reading for the home side, and they could be stuck in the relegation zone if results go against them elsewhere today. Yeah, and over half of the season gone, and you're not down there through bad luck. It's through bad play, and they need to reverse that form. So this is how the host line-up thing is. Instead of a back three, he's going to have a back five, and those uh, wide wing backs, as we would call them, are going to be more defensive. I think he's a bit fearful of the opposition. Does look that way, doesn't it? I know he likes to try and convince us that those full backs are going to be uh, raiding forward, but if they're under the cosh, I think they'll just sit there nice and tight to the three centre halves. Let's have a look at how the opposing team will line up today. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park. Played in the clear. Read that well with the interception. Goal news from Oxford. It's a goal for Oxford United. 13 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. First touch was poor. O'Hara. It's good vision to be able to switch the play there. Here's the chance. Goodness me, it's hit the post. South End United. Well, they'll be working hard, I'm sure. Their last game was an away defeat against Bolton Wanderers. Yeah, the 1 0 defeat scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. And they're better than that. I think they'll get a draw here. Can put them in front here. Well, all credit for taking the volley on, but in the end, nowhere near the target. Well, it's a difficult skill, and you get it off a fraction, and that can happen. It goes wide. Simon Cox, building steadily here, keeping possession. He's going to try his luck. Naismith. Guiding it through the defenders. He's through here. And there it is! And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Simon Cox. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Challenge in sharp. It's good that the game's gone ahead. It's not so much the conditions in the stadium here, and then it's outside, of course, that when the really icy weather comes, that games get called off for that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I mean, because the pitches are so good and with undersaw heating. It's rare that uh, it's unplayable, but uh, if the conditions outside are deemed unsafe, then they have no choice, do they? We've given it straight to the opposition. And Cooper. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Cooper. Reed. O'Hara. He's got his shot off now. Oh, charged down. 
There's always Alan McAnally is out and about for us, and he's seen a sending off today. It's a red card for the home team. The referee has awarded this free kick. That's an easy cut out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. They've cut the pass out there, and maybe that will ease the pressure. The that will be two added minutes. Hopper. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. The league table not making happy reading for the home side, and they could be stuck in the relegation zone if results go again. Yeah, the 1 0 defeat scoreline doesn't. Can't put them in. And the referee is blown to signal the start of the second half. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. And it is played to Kanu. Shots on here. A real miscue here. Now, this is an interesting attack. Delivered into the box. That was a good cross. Oh, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end... It didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. Three players coming on. Oh, there's some drama in the game being watched by our good friend Alan McAnally. They're sending off, I believe, Alan. It's a red card for the visitors. They're down to ten men. 54 no, minutes played, but it remains 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. And only soft drinks can be taken down to your seats. Thank you for your cooperation. Whipped in from the wide area. That's a very weak cross from a very good position. Opportunity in a wider area. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Trying to lift it over the nearest defender and he couldn't. Alan McAnally right on the button to tell us about a goal that's just happened elsewhere. It's a goal for Fleetwood Town. 61 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Here's Kanu. Reed. Bit of keep ball going on here. It's a weak cross, really. Not getting past the first defender. The manager's told them not to look at the league table and to just concentrate on each game as it comes around, but they're only human. Yeah, they are, and there's a bit of a feeling of a doom and gloom within this... St Saw the goal and went for it! The referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. Well, those fans haven't seen the ball up this end for ages, it seems. A chance here, though. Good delivery into the box. Chance for an equaliser. And they get it away. Free kick. It is a substitution now to keep the team on their toes and to keep this lead, they hope. Hit it well! They had a go, a long way out. Surprised everyone, including his teammates. I think we were expecting a little dink into the box. Still 20 minutes to go. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. This could bring them level. And it does! Important point in the game. Well, what a game changer that might be. And I think the momentum's just shifted.
Well, he's chosen to stay on, Alan, and we thought that was maybe a risky thing to do, but he's got himself... It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. On the move and able to cut out the pass. So now a goal kick to come. He has got the opportunity to change the tactics as well as the players with some movement from the bench. Hopper. McLaughlin. Clever ball. He's in. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Only five minutes of the 90 to go, plus added time, of course. The score's still level. And it is played to Kanu. Oh, that's great anticipation by the defender, Martin, no doubt. Brilliant match, still not guiding it through. Played in the clear. Can he do it? It's in! Oh, could that be the decisive moment here? Very little time left. It's a wonderful time to score. They're absolutely delighted. Well, they've got this late goal, and the opposition really are crestfallen. That could be the moment of the match. Well, everybody knows it's late in the day here and not much time to come back. Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. There doesn't seem much of an opportunity to come back. I think that could be decisive. Here's Carno. Now he can cross it. Gets his cross in. That's a good header. Very close. Actually hit the frame of the goal. Yeah. Ooh. But an oof from the crowd, that one. We're starting to hear the away fans who haven't had too much to cheer in terms of the match, and now they're jeering because the home players are starting to waste time at every opportunity. Well, the writing is on the wall. Uh, trying to change that, but uh, the home team doing everything in their power to deny them any kind of rhythm. It's finished now with the final whistle. Well, we're in the middle of the season. And wins count just the same in the middle as at the end or the beginning of the season. So they'll be pretty happy with this. I think so. It's the stage of the season where you can get one or two tired legs and minds. But... The league table not making happy reading for the home.